Howdy everyone. My name is Aaron Waxworth. I know y'all were expecting Professor Hilbert to conduct this class, but he had to take a sick day, so I'll be filling in. In this class, we're gonna learn how to raise a certain type of chow. Now back on my parents' farm, we had all kinds of chow. But in Sonic Adventure 2 Battle, you can raise what are called character chow that look a whole lot like a character in the game. So we're gonna be focusing on how to raise a chow that looks like Sonic. Before we start, I'll take you on a little tour around the chow garden. But wait, how do you get there? Well, first, you gotta go through one of the levels. There's a special box in each level that contains the Chow Key. Here's the one in City Escape. Once you get the key... Well, I'll just let Oma Chow explain. The Chow Key is in this container. If you keep it, you can go to the Chow Garden when you finish the stage. Nifty, right? They're pretty easy to find. And once you've got a key for a character, you can use that character in the Chow Garden by going to the Stage Select screen. Here's the chow garden. When you get here for the first time, you'll have two chow eggs. And now that this one is hatched, we can start raising it. In order to do that, you've of course got to feed it. This is really easy. Just shake a few trees, get the fruit, and give it to the baby chow. You can also go to the chow kindergarten from the lobby and buy fruit from the black market. <laughs> By going to the doctor, you can even find out your child's favorite fruit. When you feed them, you'll see this little menu pop up. This menu is labeled Swim, Fly, Run, Power, and Stamina. The Stamina stat starts to raise while the chow is eaten. The others refer to the chow's abilities. So, how do you raise those ability stats? Well, in all the stages in this game, you can find little animals and chaos drives, which look kind of like a bottle with a crystal shard in it. These things will boost your child's stats. I'll list them all off so you know what each one does, okay? Animals first. Penguins, otters, and seals are in the yellow group. They increase or decrease almost every stat like all animals do. But the yellow group animals increase the swim stat the most. Condors, parrots, and peacocks are in the purple group. And the purple group animals increase flying the most. The green group comprised of warthogs, cheetahs, and rabbits increase run and bears, gorillas, and tigers in the red group increase power. Then you've got the blue, black, and gold groups. Raccoons, sheep, skunks, bats, hackfishes, skeleton dogs, dragons, phoenixes, and unicorns are included in those groups. They increase the stats at random. Besides raising stats, the animals can teach the child different behaviors. To learn more about that, click on the link that's in the description. Next, there's the Chaos Drives. You get them when you smash G when robots. There are four colors, one for each step. Yellow for swimming, purple for flying, green for running, and red for power. But what's all this got to do with making Chow that looks like Sonic? Well, chows go through a complicated life cycle. First, they hatch. Then, when their childhood is over, they go into a little blue cocoon. After about a minute, 
They come out as one of these child based on how you raise their stats and whether they're dark or a hero child. This is called the first evolution. Then, throughout their adult life, they go through a gradual second evolution. They slowly change into one of these chap. The smart young lady over on the Sapphire Chow channel gave an amazing tutorial on Chow evolution. Mr. Hilbert helped me to make a little playlist of some of Sapphire's videos. You can consider watching these your homework. <laughs> Look in the description for a link to that, too. So then, when we think about Sonic, what's his greatest attribute? His speed, right? So to make a Sonic Chow, we need to raise his running stat. To do that, you just need to feed your Chow a lot of green chaos drives. My favorite way to get them is by repeating the Prison Lane mission. It's easy. And doing a Tails mission means that you can go slow and get as many of the green chaos drives as you can. As you can see, the more drives you feed him, the more his stats raise. But to make it a Sonic Chow, there's another factor you need to consider. That is, it needs to be a neutral Chow. To get a neutral Chow, you have to raise it with both hero and dark characters. You'll see the color of the chow gradually start to darken or lighten the more a character feeds it. Just keep it somewhere there in the middle. Pretty simple. But the mistake that some people make is, well, I can give my chow as many kinds of chaos drives as I want as long as the running stat remains dominant. That ain't right. Just because your chow's predominant stat is run, doesn't mean it'll become a run-type chow. And if you give the chow chaos drives or animals to raise a certain stat, it will cancel out another. So you can actually undo all the work you've already done. Remember Miss Sapphire Chow? She explains what cancels out what and why in her video too. She even made a little graph that I found real handy. Don't forget to watch her video, okay? Anyway, bottom line is that you need to give your child green chaos drives only. The first evolution can come at different times, but if you feed your child a lot of fruit, you can get it to evolve sooner. Look, it's going into the cocoon. In just a moment, it'll come out as an adult chow. But wait, Sonic ain't green. Why did he come out green? <laughs> Don't panic. This isn't a mistake. All Sonic Chow come out like this at first. The Chow is now a neutral run none type. Neutral, of course, meaning a neutral Chow type. Run meaning the predominant stat in its childhood. And none meaning that it has no predominant stat for its adulthood. If you thought you were done bashing boss to get chaos drives, think again. To make this Chow a Sonic Chow, you've got to raise his run stat to at least level 50. But since it's permanently a neutral Chow, it doesn't matter which characters you raise it with. So let's watch little Ajax as he gradually changes into a full-fledged Sonic Chow.
and now that Ajax has entered into his mating season, he has become a sonic chow. <laughs> Thanks y'all for coming. If you have any questions, go to my Ask FM, Texan Pro 522. See you next time.